What's up guys, it's Brittany, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an updated makeup collection and storage video where I'm also including a little bit of my nail polish collection and how I store it. I have two other makeup collection videos but I have majorly improved the way that I organize my makeup so that's why I wanted to do this. This video is a little bit more focused on the actual organization and storage of it but I do go through a couple of my favorite products from each drawer. I'm feeling super cozy today which is why I'm wearing a big sweatshirt and it's actually a Hufflepuff sweatshirt. I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see this video done as a voiceover or a talk through so I will be talking through the video as you guys requested so I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and let's get started. So I thought I would start with a little overview of most of my makeup collection. I have two sets of these small drawers from Ikea with one of the desktops on top that you can buy separately. I have my basically like original makeup collection that I had in a lot of my previous videos. I'm my filming light right here, so don't mind that. I'm also gonna go over my makeup, or sorry, my nail polish collection, which I just set up over there in the corner in a little bit. I do a lot of work here. I record my voiceover, so you you can kind of see in this little corner there's this thing which is actually my mic stand so it swivels around and it makes this area really versatile so that's why I decided to put this desktop on top and then I also keep some little decorative pieces like candle holders and things like that. You guys will probably recognize these little brush holders. These are from Ikea. I think they're candle holders or something for plants and I've been using them to hold my brushes pretty much since I started buying brushes. And then there's my mic in the back and I also keep some lip products here. I keep a lot of my most often used lip liners up here because they're just kind of the ones that I'll see first and the ones that I'm more likely to use. So that's why I have them on top of this desk. And then I also have my NYX lingerie lips up here. I love these so much. My favorite one is called Lace Detail. It's this one. It's super pretty. It looks really good on my skin tone in my opinion. I also like to keep a lot of my favorite eyeshadow palettes up here because it's really easy to get to them this way. This I think is from Home Goods. I'm pretty sure it's one of those like file or paper organizers. So I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, a Z palette full of Luxie eyeshadows that they gave me at Generation Beauty Toronto. And then I also have a palette full of some Makeup Geek eyeshadows and these are incredible. I love the foiled eyeshadows. They have incredible pigmentation. I have the Urban Decay Naked palettes, the second one, third one, and smoky one. And I also have the Tartlet palette. These are really incredible matte eyeshadows. So moving on to this little corner is where I keep a lot of my makeup brushes and a few of my favorite makeup brands are Volare Cosmetics. They're a really luxurious brand of makeup brushes. And then also Furless Cosmetics. I really like the ones that I have. I don't have very many of them, but I love the ones that I do. And then I also really like Royal and Langnickel. So if you guys want, I can like list everything in the description box below. Up here is where I also keep my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips and Ultra Satin Lips. I'm not going to go through all of them because I pretty much love all of them and there's just so many different colors that you can choose from. And I also have my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencils up here. All of my blushes up here. And I have a very weird system of organizing all of my makeup so hopefully you guys don't mind that it's like kind of mix matched in some of the drawers. But yeah, I have all of my um, blushes up here. I have powder blushes and some cream blushes in the back. These blush organizers are from a website called By Allegory. I'll also leave that in the description box if you guys are curious about that. These are um, lipstick organizers from By Allegory, but it holds my like cream blushes and cheek stains and stuff really well. And again, I'm not gonna go through every single thing in this drawer, but I will show you some of my favorites. I love the Milani Baked Blushes. I have a bunch of my MAC blushes back here, and my favorite from MAC is called Cheek Pollen. It's really pretty. I've also been loving the Too Faced Baked Blushes. This one is called Peach Beach. This second drawer is where I keep all of my bronzers and highlighters. It looks a little bit messy, but it's actually organized very well to my standards. I found these black organizers from 
the dollar store, I go to Dollarama. If you guys live in Canada, it is incredible. So I highly suggest picking up some of these. They're $3, it's just one piece and they fit so perfect. And the shorter ones like this, I personally think they are a little bit better in the shorter ones because the drawers are like longer. So I'll show you guys some of my favorite bronzers and highlighters. And another one that I've been loving recently from Too Faced is the Too Faced Baked Bronzer. This is called Sweet Tea. This pure bronzer that has shimmer on one side and matte on the other. And these are my all-time favorite highlighters. I have the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter, and then the Mary Luminizer, and Becca Champagne Pop. So this next drawer just looks really pretty to open, and I still need to go through this drawer and get rid of a lot of these lip products because some of them are really old and I just haven't done it yet. But I wanted to show you this drawer because I think these are incredible for organizing lip products. It's basically a piece of, or a bunch of different pieces of plastic cardboard and they have like little pieces cut into it so that you can organize a grid for however shape and size you want. Basically look like this when you get them in the packaging and these are the shorter versions but you can get them in different sizes. I also got them in black which you will probably see in another one of the drawers but I got them from a store called Yoko Yaya and it's like a Daiso owned Japanese dollar store so check them out if you have one near you. I just moved the camera around a little bit so that you guys can see this drawer better because I have all of my eyelashes in here and I'm organizing them and kind of dividing them with the plastic cardboard drawer organizers. They work really well for this. I get a lot of eyelashes sent to me as well so that's why I have so many of them. But if you guys also have a lot of eyelashes and can't figure out how to organize them, I highly suggest putting them vertically like this so that you guys can just easily pull out a pair and see what they are. Before I had them stacked on top of each other and I wasn't using them because I couldn't actually see what pairs of eyelashes I had. So this has been amazing to organize it this way and make sure that I actually see everything and get use out of everything. I have concealers and face powders and eye primers and I'm also using one of the Dollarama drawer organizers some of my favorite concealers are the Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealers, and the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Concealer. This is really, really great for covering dark circles. These are some of my favorite face powders. I really love the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It's a really pretty powder just to go all over your face and it doesn't look cakey. And then my favorite setting powder for underneath the eyes is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. I just got this one recently. It's a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Face Powder. It's really nice, very like finely meld so it doesn't look cakey either. And two of my favorite primers are the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This one's extremely hydrating if I have really dry skin. And then if I want my makeup to stay on like literally all day and all night, I will use the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. This next drawer is where I keep all of my mascaras and eyebrow products. So I have all of my eyebrow products in here, here, and here. So this, as you can see, is another one of those dollar store organizers. And I have all of my eyebrow pencils and setting gels in these ones. And then I also have like my eyebrow powders and like little sets in here. And then I also have the Anastasia Brow Promade, but I haven't tried it yet, so hopefully it's good. I will show you guys a couple of my favorite brow products and the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift Pencil. This one is really interesting, it's not like any of the other ones that I have. They all have brow spoolies on the end which is why I love all of these. But this one has the brow pencil at the top which is kind of like a triangle shape and then it also has a highlighter like randomly in the middle of it which is really cool, I've never seen that in another brow product before. I also really love skinny brow pencils because they're extremely easy to work with, so I really like the Kiss Fine Precision Brow Pencil, the Annabelle Skinny Brow Liner, and then the ColourPop Brow Liner, I think it's called. Um, these are all really great and also really affordable too. And then of course, if you guys have been watching my videos for a really long time, you know that the Essence Clear Lash and Brow Gel is like one of my holy girl products. Here's where I keep mascaras. These are all mascaras. There's a lot of them in here because I recently was sent a lot and then I was given a lot at one of the events that I went to. But I've given a lot away to my friends as well and then also in giveaways. 
but a little tip if you have a ton of like backups for mascara is to put a little bit of washi tape on the ones that you're currently using just in case you have extras that you've already taken out of the packaging that way you don't mix them up and you don't open one and then not use it for months and months and months so it helps make sure that everything stays bacteria free and you don't have to really think about which one you've already opened this next drawer is where I keep all of my foundations and tinted moisturizers and also a bunch of felt tip eyeliners which is really random for it to be in this drawer which is why I said in the beginning that some of my drawers are a little like messed up <laughs> but this is kind of the only way that I've figured right now that I can organize like all of this stuff so I have all of my liquid and stick foundations over here um, they all sit upright which is why I decided to put it in the deeper drawer and then over here I have all of my tinted moisturizers and BB creams and it's in this little clear case which I also got from Yoko Yaya or maybe this one was from Daiso I don't know they're basically the same store and behind the separator I have my compact foundation like the L'Oreal Lumi cushion foundation I have a couple of different types of cushion foundations back here so I have another drawer of lip products and these are all some of my favorite lip products um, that I use a little bit more often so I have my MAC lipsticks in here I have actually done a MAC lipstick collection but it's probably like three years old but if you guys want to watch it I'll link it on the video somewhere here and in this container which is from Dollarama I have all of my Too Faced Melted Matte Lips these are incredible products I have I think every single color and they are so guys like they are so good in another container from Dollarama I have all of my ColourPop lippy sticks I'm not gonna go through all the colors again but they are also really good so you guys may have caught my covergirl video that i did with covergirl um i have all of my katie cat matte lipsticks in here i'm obsessed with these i like can't get enough of them this is my favorite color from the collection it's called sphinx and they're all really really pretty and they have a matte black which is crazy i've never seen a matte black in a drugstore lipstick collection like ever Back here, I have all of my Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. They have a hundred of them, so obviously I don't have every single color, but I have a lot of really nice ones. And then these ones are from the Maybelline Fall Collection that they're coming out with. I'm assuming they're in stores already. I don't know because these ones were given to me, but they're all really, really pretty. My favorite one, I think, is called Gone Grage, and I am so excited to wear it for the fall. It's like the perfect brown gray. This whole set is probably my least favorite for how I've organized everything but in the top drawer I have a bunch of single eyeshadows and specifically I have the Urban Decay single eyeshadows these are really really pretty they sent me a bunch last like holiday season and I used some in my New Year's Eve makeup tutorial last year on this side I have my ColourPop eyeshadows I really love their eyeshadows and they have a really cool texture and then these ones up here in the front are all from Essence they're the Velvets eyeshadow singles collection they have a bunch of really pretty like soft matte colors and this is all in a drawer organizer from Ikea I'm not the biggest fan of these ones actually but I just have a bunch left over so I decided to obviously still use them over here I have a bunch of eyeliners these are all of like my neutral color eyeliners and then in another little container from the dollar store back here I have bright colored eyeliners so anything that's like not neutral <laughs> So in the second drawer, I have more single eyeshadows, but these are a bit more like glamorous eyeshadows. So they might be like really deep, rich colors, or they're all like really shimmery, or they're pigments. So all of these over here are Naked Cosmetics pigments, and I've bought them pretty much every single time that I've been to iMats. This drawer is also a little bit random. It's where I keep some extra things, um, and also apparently a NYX mirror this is one of my favorite mirrors actually for doing makeup because you can like fold it out like that and i have a set of brushes from luxie which i actually think this might be completely empty but i don't want to get rid of it because it's great for traveling and i also keep my extra cell phone cases and i just got these ones in the mail today literally from mittenthebox.com i'm kind of obsessed with the popcorn one since I'm already talking about cell phone cases, I'll just show you the one that I have on my phone right now. I have a 6 Plus, so it looks huge. <laughs> but it's a chill pill, like how funny is that? 
and it's also from mintinthebox.com. And then in this drawer, I also keep some face wipes and makeup remover wipes. This is one of the better organized drawers in this whole unit. These are all of my like glitter and metallic finished products. And I'm also using one of the dollar store organizers from Dollarama. I have a bunch of the NYX Cosmic Metals lip creams. So they're like metallic lip products and some of the brighter colored liquid suede lip products from NYX, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliners and the NYX Roll-On Shimmer. And this little section over here, I have some Lit Cosmetics glitter. They have incredible colors of glitter, so I'm really excited to be using these for like Halloween and holiday tutorials. So in here's where I keep all of my extra palettes that I just maybe don't use as often, but a few of my favorites are the Too Faced Totally Cute palette and the Too Faced Peanut Butter palette. I love these ones, and then I also have a bunch of the like drugstore palettes like Essence and uh, NYX. And I actually have like a really good way of organizing the smaller eyeshadow palettes like the NYX ones. I got these containers from Daiso as well and they actually stack on top of each other so I just kind of filled it up with the smaller eyeshadow palettes that fit in there. That way I can actually access everything a little bit easier whenever I need to get to it. So as for my nail polish collection, these are all of my favorite nail polishes. I love Essie, they're my favorite. Some of them were sent to me, but I'd say about 80% of those I bought myself over time. The plastic shelves come in a pack of three from Amazon.ca. I'm sure you could find ones from Amazon.com, and if I can find one similar, then I will link it in the description box below. And I just have these string lights pushed behind the rows of nail polish so that it looks like they're lit from behind. That was actually either my boyfriend's idea or my dad's idea, but either way, it was incredible because it looks so good. That's it for my makeup and nail polish collection. So that's it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I'm sure you guys know because there have been so many of these types of videos, I am not trying to brag. I appreciate everything that I am sent and that I buy. Obviously, this is my job, so I have a lot of products. I think it's interesting to watch other people's makeup collections and how they store everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Go Hufflepuff. Till I get out